Greetings guys, welcome to another video. This is Kwanele Mtuba. In this video, I'm going to show you how to determine the trend line equation using the sequential numbering method. Question 6, 6.1. The number of houses sold quarterly by Voli Estate in Port Alfred are recorded for the period 1996 to 1999 in the table below. Now determine the trend line equation using the sequential numbering method. There's the trend line equation. The equation of the least squares. First of all, you have to redraw the table like this. There's the column for the periods. The quarters from 1996 up to 1999 the number of houses sold which is the dependent variable y and the sequential numbering method which is going to be my x now the sequential numbering method differs from zero sum coding method there is no specific formula to calculate the x values You just use a sequence of numbers, which I'm going to show you. The X value of the first period must be one. And the second one must be two, three, four, continue up to the last period Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And then go to a calculator press mode. Then go to state mode and option number two. There's the equation of the least squares a plus bx on option number two. Select option number two. Then you have two columns, uh, the x column and the y column. Then you're going to punch all the x values. And then on the y column, you have to punch all the y values. Make sure you punch the data or the, the values correctly so that you don't get the wrong answers. So one, two, press equal, three, press equal, four, press equal, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. And then go to the Y column from the beginning. Fifty-four plus equal. 58 equal 24 70 55 74 60 64 99 and 80 then press AC it is blank then let's get back to the equation then how do we calculate 
a the formula to calculate a is y minus b x over n which means we cannot calculate a if we haven't calculated b first which means we have to calculate b in order to calculate a so b the formula of b is equal to n multiplied by the sum of xy minus the sum of x multiplied by the sum of y divide by n multiplied by the sum of x squared minus the sum of x all squared now let us substitute n how many periods do we have 16 period 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so 16 multiplied by the sum of xy now let's go to the calculate plus shift one go to sum and option number three we want the sum of xy we want the sum of xy so the sum of xy is an option number five which is 9875 9875 which is the sum of xy minus the sum of x press ac and shift 1 go to sum again now we wanted the sum of x which is an option number two then press equal it's 136 136 multiply by the multiply by the sum of y go to your calculator press ac shift one go to sum now we want the sum of y is an option number four then press equal it's 1,121 so the sum of x times 1,121 which is the sum of y then divide then divide by n n which is 16 multiply by the sum of x squared press a c shift one go to sum option number three the sum of x squared of x squared is option number one one thousand four hundred and ninety six so times one thousand 496 minus the sum of x all squared we already have the sum of x which is 136 then all squared is equal to Now let us calculate mm. 
1,621 divided by 16 into 1,496 minus 1 minus into 136 all squared. P is equal to 1,019. One comma zero one nine one. This is B. Now let's go to A. Let us substitute, which is equal to the sum of y. Sum of y is one thousand one hundred and twenty one. Minus P, which is one comma zero one nine one, multiplied by the sum of x, which is one thirty six, then divide by sixteen. So. Thousand one hundred and twenty one minus one comma zero one nine one multiply by one thirty six divide by sixteen, which is sixty one. Comma four zero zero. So A is sixty one comma four zero zero. Now let us substitute the formula. A is sixty one comma. Four zero zero plus B, which is one comma zero one nine one X. My work here is done. Until next time, bye.